In this video, I will share with you how to create a virtual tour using Kula, using the 360 photos I captured with the One X2 and the Best 360 monopod, so you can make a virtual tour which looks like this. let's get started. Before you start creating virtual tours, you must change a setting to make sure your photos upload in the highest photo quality possible. So to do this, go to Menu, under Settings, go to Preferences, and under Photo Compression, change this option to High Quality Cooler Pro. Scroll down, Save Changes, and you are now ready to create a virtual tour with high quality photos. To create a virtual tour on Cooler, go to Menu, click Create Tour, enter a tour name. In the Post tab, this is where you upload your virtual tour photos. So to upload your photos, click Select Images, locate the photos on your computer, and here I have already renamed the photos so I understand where these photos were taken in the space that I was in. So to upload all these photos, highlight all the photos you wish to upload and click open, and then wait for your photos to upload onto Kula. Once the photos have finished uploading, the next step is to organize your photos into a logical user flow. So the first photo I want my viewers to see when they open this virtual tour is the exterior door of the bedroom. So this photo is the exterior front door of the bedroom. So I will move this photo to the start of my virtual tour. The next logical step is the inside of the front door. So I will move this photo to the second position. The next photo which follows on from the front door photo is the interior one photo. So I'll move this photo to the third position. The bathroom photo can also be accessed from the front door photo, so I will keep the bathroom photo in the fourth position. The next step the user can walk to from the interior one hotspot is their interior two hotspot, which is the end left corner of the room. The next step the user can walk to is the end right corner of the room, which is interior three. Once your photos are put into a organized and logical user flow, go to tour settings, Change the privacy to private because I don't want my tour to be uploaded publicly whilst I'm still editing it. I can change the privacy to public once I've finished editing my virtual tour. The transition time is the animation when the user clicks from one photo to another. I will leave this as crossfade. Walkthrough mode and click anywhere will improve the user experience when the user clicks from one photo to another. So I will turn these on. And if you want any more information about what these do, you can click the help icon. I will not add any background audio and leave the menu icon as floor plan. Once you've finished editing all your settings, click post. This is the virtual tour editor and on the bottom of the screen are my photos in a organized and logical flow. And on the right hand side is the virtual tour editor. The first thing I want to do is connect these photos together using hotspots. The first hotspot I'm going to add will connect the exterior of the bedroom to the first step inside the bedroom. So to do this, I'll find the photo, which is the first step inside the bedroom, and drag it to where I want the hotspot to be created. An icon will appear. I can click and drag this icon anywhere I want in this 360 photo. I can change how this icon looks by going to change image built-in assets and choosing a different icon or if you have your own custom icon then go to add new and upload your icon here but I will stick to the stock icon if you want to change the color of the icon go to set tint and choose a color of your choice but I will leave it as white and if you want to make your icon invisible you can change the opacity to 0% 
Since this icon is not on the floor or wall, I'll leave the position as 2D. And just like that, you've created a hotspot which will take the user from the exterior of the bedroom to the first step inside the bedroom. So let's continue adding a few more hotspots. I will click save to make sure I don't lose my work and then move to the next photo, which is the first step inside the bedroom. And I'm going to add a hotspot which will take me back outside the bedroom. So I will drag the exterior bedroom photo over here and position it into place. Then I will scroll towards the bathroom door. I will find the bathroom photo and drag it onto the middle of the bathroom door here. And now a bathroom hotspot has been created. And I'll scroll to the other side of the room. The next photo I took is between the chair and the bed. So I will find this photo and drag it over here and move the hotspot into place. Now, since this hotspot is on the floor, I will change it to the floor position. If you try to move to the next photo without clicking save over here, then you will get this dialog box. Click save and quit. Save and quit will save your work in your current photo and move you onto the next photo. So in this photo, I will add a hotspot so I can also navigate backwards. So I'll add this photo over here and I can rotate it to make sure it's in line. Click save. Then I'll go to the bathroom photo, scroll around to the bathroom door, find the photo which is outside the bathroom and drag it onto the bathroom door. And I'll change this to the 2D position. And now the users can navigate from the bathroom back into the bedroom and click save. So now you know how to add hotspots into your virtual tour. To preview your virtual tour so far, click close. And now when I click the bathroom door, it will take me to the bedroom. And I can click further into the bedroom. And I can also navigate backwards outside the bedroom as well. To edit your photo further, click edit. Here, you can change the thumbnail of your photo. So to do this, position how you'd like the thumbnail to look. You can zoom in and then take a snapshot. And now this will become the new thumbnail. The sun and lens flare effect will add a lens flare. And if you reposition this flare to a light source, it looks like there is a lens flare coming from the light. Ideally, when you upload your photos onto Kula, they are already color graded, so there shouldn't be a need to use the built-in filters from Kula, so I'll skip these options. If you want to add ambience to your 360 photo, then you can add audio here. The zoom settings controls how much the user can zoom in and out of your 360 photo. So to limit how much they can zoom out, I will move the right marker inwards. And to control how much the user can zoom in, I will move the left marker inwards. So now when the user tries to zoom in and out, this is their max limits. Pitch limit is how much the user can look up and down your 360 photo. So if I drag the pitch limit all the way up, now this is the max the user can look up and this is the max the user can look down. Again, ideally level correction is something you do in Affinity Photo before you bring it into Kula. But if you need to use level correction, then you can do so here by moving the slider left and right to correct the horizon. If you want to add photo information, then you can check these boxes, or if you don't want to show them, leave them unchecked. And those are all the different ways you can customize your photo in Kula. Then make sure to click save so you don't lose your changes. The last step is to export your virtual tour. So the first thing you need to do is change your privacy settings. So go to edit tour, tour settings, 
privacy and change it to unlisted. So now anyone with this link can access their virtual tour and click save and exit. To get the link for your virtual tour, click share, get link or embed code. And here you can change the settings of how your virtual tour will display to your users. Under optimization, I will optimize for image quality for the best photo quality possible. You can enable or disable these options if you want to give your users the flexibility to use these controls. On the left is a preview of how your virtual tour will appear. And if you want your photos to auto rotate, you can drag the slider to the right, but I will turn this off. In the top left hand corner, you can add your own logo and increase the logo size, or you can choose to have no logo at all. If you want to share your virtual tour with someone else, then you can just come over here and copy this link and send it to whoever you like. If you want to embed this virtual tool on your WordPress site, then you can go to embed HTML, copy this code and add it into your website. That's it. Now you know how to use Kula to make a virtual tool. And I chose Kula because it's the most beginner friendly and most affordable virtual tour software out there. So if you want to give Kula a go, I've left a link in the video description. Hit the like button if you learned something new and I'll see you in the next video.